Uh, hey, Coach. Um, so you guys had like 20 turnovers tonight. What, what was the issue, you know, not taking care of the ball? Their defense is pretty aggressive all game. Yeah, that's the most we've had uh, ever, you know. Uh, and so, you know, Tarleton State forced us to be out of character. You know, we we didn't do a good enough job of uh, dealing with the pressure and making good decisions, uh, trying to execute under the rest. They just did a really good job. It was a very physical game. Um, and I thought early, I thought the first eight minutes, they set the tone really with the jump ball, you know, and so uh, give them credit. They did a really good job taking us out of a lot of our stuff in the first half. You know, second half, we settled, did a little bit better job, didn't turn it over as much, you know, in one and a half, but we, we did such a deep hole with the, with the um, uncharacteristic turnovers we had in the first eight minutes. Yeah, Coach, kind of building off of that, it, it felt like the, the shooting percentage early was there-ish. Uh, was it mostly just the turnovers or were there elements where you needed to speed up or do something different with your offense too? Because it seemed like it was working. It was turnovers, but it's also with some of the shots for turnovers. You know, they pressured us, and, you know, when we kind of made one pass, wasn't able to get to our actions and went into a shot and sometimes pressure forces you to do things and, and get you out of your comfort level. Uh, thought we would have a lot more maturity, you know, and executing, but we, we just didn't, we, you know, some of the turnovers we had weren't, some of them weren't forced, uh, but the pace and the speed of, of, of how they were denying everything really forced us into some uncharacteristic plays. We kind of saw, you know, this against Maine too. You guys came out with low energy. How do you prevent that from happening in the future? That's a good question. You know, uh, really good question. Um, you know, and so just as you deal with your team, you just continue to try to figure out maybe there's something with the starting lineup. Maybe there's something uh, else, but you just keep trying to discover, you know, how to help your team be the best that they can be. You know, certainly we wasn't at the level we needed to be in the first five minutes. Uh, and the first five minutes sets the tone. I mean, it was. I think it was 12 to four. They came out through the first punch um, and we didn't respond until the second half. Yeah, we saw, you know, some different combinations, different guys in the second half. Not a lot of Demar, not a lot of Makai. Was that you trying to figure out, you know, play different guys, get get, get people a chance to work things out? No, Makai had foul trouble. You know, Demar, DeMar you know, had 103 temperature two days ago. So, you know, I didn't, I didn't know if he would play in the first game. And, um, so he played, he tried. And so, uh, so yeah, but, you know, just foul trouble for the other guys. And I felt like the way the game went, you know, where we were in the middle of the second half, just needed to let the young guys grow and get the playing time because I mean, we were down 18 points and they started to play good basketball. We cut it to 10. And so I just left them out there. Coach, a quick turnaround to tomorrow. Um, I think it's Wyoming now. Um based off the schedule, but just the the quick turnaround, how difficult is it or, or what are some of the things they have to focus on? Cause it's going to be, you know, 20 something, less than 20 hours until your, until your next game. And, and that's something that's very rare on the, uh, on the schedule in general. Yeah, it's a tournament, you know, you get two tournaments a year and uh, you get one in November, you get one in March. So you play back to back nights. Uh, that's part of the reason you play these tournaments. So, so it's going to take some character. It's going to take some grit. Uh, to be able to just turn back around and play again. But um, that's how you grow. So we'll get back to the room tonight. As a staff, we'll get together, figure out what we need to do and come up with a plan and play the game tomorrow. Anything else for Coach? Are there, is there anything that you can kind of um, – is there anything that just you can draw off of from last March or is that just in the past and figure it out, you know, moving forward tonight? Yeah, I mean, more or less, you 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 go back to last November preseason tournament because um, March is a little different. You know, you're a different team at that time of year. And so, um, so you know, when you draw back on the tournaments you play in November, you just got to come up with the best plan. It really is not going to come down all to scheme. And one day it's going to come down to competitive spirit and, and toughness and, and, you know, kind of drawing back on the things that you your program is about. And so... That's the challenge, that's the pursuit, that's the fight, you know, to defend and rebound and take care of the ball. And so that's, it's gonna come down to our values and, and our pride and, and our competitive spirit. Um, that's what it's gonna come down to. 
And then just one last one, just kind of building off of that too. I know you, you've, we've talked a lot just about the injuries and stuff that you've kind of had to fight through. We have that quick turnaround to uh, a game like tonight, playing short notice, going into tomorrow, playing short, you know, short rest. How does that kind of offer a challenge to a coach to try and balance some of the, the depth issues that, you know, we've talked about with, with guys having to come off the bench or, or guys having to play different roles? Just use everybody I got, you know, use the young guys. Um, you know, try to balance out the minutes, but at the end of the day, you know, just you try to play to win the game. And so some guys may have to play, you know, a lot of minutes tomorrow, but, but I'm gonna try to get my young freshmen to continue to get in there and grow as well.